Hello, today's Bible study comes from 1 Corinthians 7, chapter 17 through the 24th verse, and reads as follows. Nevertheless, each person should live as a believer in whatever situation the Lord has assigned to them, just as God has called, called them. This is the rule I lay down in all the churches. Was a man already circumcised when he was called? He should not become uncir uncircumcised. Was a man uncircumcised when he was called? He should not be circumcised. Circumcision is nothing, and uncircumcision is nothing. Keeping God's commands is what counts. Each person should remain in the situation they were in when God called them. Were you a slave when you were called? Don't let it trouble you, although if you gain your freedom, do so. For the one who was a slave when called to faith in the Lord is a Lord's freed person. Similarly, the one who was free when called is Christ's slave. You were bought at a price. Do not become slaves of human beings. Brothers and sisters, each person, as responsible to God, should remain in the situation they were in when God called them. Woo! Okay. Um, but as God distributed to each other, as the Lord has called each one, so let him walk. And so I ordain in all the churches. And Paul is telling you about in whatever circumstance you are in, you can live for God right now. And he says, as the Lord has called each one, so let them walk. Um, whatever your situation is, your status in life, um, married, single, divorce. Whatever it may be, God can and will work in your life. Um, don't think that your station has a change in order for you to have God in your life. So whatever your status is right now, whatever it is, walk for the Lord, work for the Lord, do of the Lord. Um, and this is a warning too. Don't try to undo things. We repent, um, and we keep it moving, period. So let them walk. And that's also a thought. Don't think people have it better than you do, um, because of their status in life. We have seen people kill themselves who are doing financially well in this world and look like things are going on well we've seen people who don't have much do the same thing our problem is we do get jealous we do get envious our flesh does look to those who seem to be quote unquote as the world would tame term it bless more because they have more material abundance or more money than you don't be jealous of that, and that is hard. We all, including myself at times, fall into this trap. So don't be jealous of those things. Don't envy those things. It speaks to that in the word also. Um, but what really matters here is your walk with the Lord right now. If you're not walking with him, start walking with him. If you're walking with him, keep walking with him. Um, it's your walk with the Lord. Um, and then Paul starts talking about circumcision and uncircumcision, and you'll see what he means in a moment. Was anyone called while circumcised? And Paul is really saying that you were circumcised when you believed in the Lord, when you became a Christian. And if... If you weren't circumcised, that's fine also when you became a Christian. Because remember, it didn't matter if you had the outward appearance of the flesh showing or if you didn't. The real thing was, how was your heart? Um, and how could, how could you become uncircumcised? I guess is a question you would ask. Um, They used to do some things, and I won't go into detail about that, but they used to do some things physically to make themselves uh, 
have the look of not being circumcised, even after they have been circumcised. I'll just say that. Um, but Paul tells you it doesn't matter about that. Circumcision is nothing, and uncircumcision is nothing. And Paul is really talking to you about circumcision as just an example here. Um, they're both irrelevant. They, it, they don't have a big hoop to do if your heart is not right. And they're both nothing when it comes to serving God. And he's saying, now, this is a hard one. Married is nothing and unmarried is nothing. But keeping the commandment, keeping the law, keeping the word of God is what matters here. So then you'll understand married and unmarried. Then you'll understand the believer that's married to a non-believer. Um, then you'll understand what's said about divorce and all these things. But... The real thing is keeping God's word. So when he gets down to verses 21 through 24, he starts talking about slavery. Mm, that brutal word. Were you called while a slave? If so, don't be concerned about it. He's saying, hey, even if you were a slave in bad circumstances, whatever it may have been, a slave is still a child of God. You can still please God if you have faith. He should not say anything except I can serve the Lord. It doesn't matter if you're free or not free. And he is able to serve God in his circumstances right now, he or she. Um, but if you can be made free, rather use it. Paul saying here, the slave can please God, but don't think that the Lord doesn't want you to have freedom from slavery. And if you get that opportunity of freedom, then you should take that opportunity. But no matter if you're free or slave, you can still serve God in your circumstances. And do not become slaves of men. This was, he was talking about slavery too, man. But spiritually, he's also speaking. Excuse me. We shouldn't. And I was talking about this the other day. We shouldn't look to man as our savior, our one that we go to. We we praise the Lord. We worship the Lord. We understand that messages are shared and given to many vessels. But we worship Christ. We are obedient to Christ. We are not obedient unto a certain man or woman. Um, so don't follow them in that manner. Don't think of them in that manner. And he tells you, and we spoke of this a few days ago, um, even with Paul's status, him, Apollos, and Cephas were all servants unto God, not unto man. Brethren, let each one remain with God in, the, in that calling in which he was called. And he's just saying, I don't care where you're at. We should seek God and use God where we are, accept God where we're at, no matter what our status is in life. And we've been talking about married, circumcised, uh, divorced, all these different respects, even slavery. Um, but... All things should be about the Lord. Let each one remain with God in that calling which he was called. And that doesn't mean, you know, we were called 
to the Lord. So we do have a life changing situation here. You can't keep trying to do the same lifestyle and not heed God's word. There's change that comes with God's word. There's transformation that comes with God's word. And that means your life will change. And once you are saved, people should see it. Not just hear it, but they should see it. Uh, so the real thing here is to realize that let each one remain with God and that calling in which he was called means a change in your life. We shouldn't be trying to continue in our old sinful ways and we should be willing to serve. And that's what we're supposed to do. Don't forget the most important thing about following the Lord aside from love is we are servants unto God and we should do his will, not our will. Amen.